right, today we are going to make some homemade spaghetti sauce for dinner tonight. And um, I used the tomatoes that I got from the garden yesterday. And I also used zucchini. I cut up a zucchini in like little chunks. And if you don't know, zucchini will thicken your sauce. Um, it's, it's like a... People used to use it all the time to thicken up their sauce. So, and it really works because I, I do do it all the time, so. And I also put some fresh green peppers from the garden in there, and now I'm just gonna add some seasoning. All right, I'm just gonna add a little bit of um, Italian seasoning. Actually, probably a lot. And then this here is actually cow powder that I had made from the garden from last year. So I'm just going to add a little bit in just because it's really healthy and the kids will never know. Alright, I'm also going to add some minced onions and some garlic powder because I don't have any more fresh garlic or right now. So garlic powder it is. I'm also gonna add a little bit of sugar or a little sweetness. Okay, that should be good. Now I'm just going to give it a good stir. Now I'm going to let it cook down all afternoon. Alright, so we're just going to let it cook down for several hours, probably most of the afternoon. And um, most of the water will evaporate and it will thicken. And then we'll throw a little bit of tomato paste in for a little bit extra added thickener if we need it. So I got this great bowl of treats for the chickens and I'm gonna bring it to them and I'm sure they're going to love it. They're all doing good today and they are loving it. All right, so I'm cleaning out the compost bin, getting it all cleaned out so that I can um, start over. So this, I got like two or three of these bins full out of there. So far I put some in the gardens and I got another bin in the woodshed. So I'm just gonna save them until I'm ready to use them. All right, so I just got some tomato plants from the garden. So I'm gonna throw in there. More tomato plants. <laughs> I left a little bit of compost in the bottom of the, just so I could mix it. Cause there were some eggshells that didn't break down and, and they were like whole eggs. So I didn't want to have them stinking up the compost bin. All right. I also have um, compost in here, which is eggshells, coffee grounds, vegetable peels, bananas, stuff like that. <laughs> I also have a bag of old rotten tomatoes. A little bit more. 
All right, so I got this whole thing of grass clippings from mowing the lawn yesterday. So we're just gonna throw them in. Grass clippings are great for your compost because they break down super, super fast. And they get things heating up really quick too. dump the whole thing in there because I have a lot more lawn to mow. This might break down a little bit over the fall, but once this will break down a little bit over the fall, but once um, winter hits, it's going to freeze and stay that way till spring. So I'm just going to keep adding stuff to it get it real big and high again and I will just keep adding to this pile until the box is completely full I'll add some fall leaves when we get to raking and um, just all the scraps the coffee grounds everything else that we compost and by the end of the fall this will be full and I will have a lot from the chicken coop too because when I clean chicken coop out, I just throw it in on top of here. So it will be a huge pile. So I did not get to transplanting any more strawberry plants today because I've been so busy inside. So you can see my pumpkin leaves really took a hit from the frost, but they still look like they're ripening up. So maybe just because they're still on the stem and the stem's still alive. But they are getting more orange. I got some over there. One there. The strawberry plants are looking great. They really took well. So I've already transplanted quite a bit. I just have a lot more to go. And then this is what the rooster and the little white hen has done to one of my pumpkins. Which is why I'm going to do my best to catch them tonight and get them in the coop. So my mom brought me some flower roots that look like this. She said that they are Asiatic lilies. So I've been busy planting them in here. In this is in the vegetable garden, the main garden. But um, I think they're going to be really pretty. I didn't actually know what they were, so I looked up pictures online of them, and they are they are a really pretty flower. So I'm really hoping that they haven't been sitting in the wet bucket too long because the roots are real wet. So we're going to get the rest of those planted. All right, so here is our finished product. The spaghetti sauce thickened up really nice. I put some hamburger in there, some homemade meatballs, and it is all ready. And it tastes really good. I've already test tasted it like four times. And I also have an extra jar here just for um, chili on maybe Sunday over the weekend. It'll be really good. I'm going to catch her tonight and I'm going to get her in the coop. I'm going to remember to catch her. Try. Try catching her. She's got to go back in the coop. Oh, oh you almost had her. Huh. Okay, we'll try again later. Yeah, he's hard to catch. Just let anybody catch him. I have to wait till he's good and asleep at night. They're already roosting. Oh, they're 
roosting. Here, watch out. Maybe the rooster will just come in. Oh, by the way. No, I don't think he's going to. That rooster's already in. That's not a rooster. It's a hen. All right. All right. It's dark out, and there they are, roosting on top of the rabbit cages. So we're going to do our best to try to catch them. This is not going to be easy because the rooster is up quite high compared to how tall I am. But we'll see how it goes. We got the rooster. And we're going to go. Right, so we got the rooster and we are going to take him and put him in the coop and see if we can get the other ones. I thought he was going to be the toughest one. But it wasn't really that bad. All right. Let's go see if we can get some more. Come away, chicken. We're going to put her in. <clears throat> Make sure the rooster don't come back out. She's in. We got one more. Let's go get her. All right, so we got the last chicken. We're gonna go put her in the coop. All right, so they're all in there. I don't know where the rooster went. Oh, there he is. Good. All right, so now, where'd the duck go? W over there. Where? Over there. <laughs> there he is. Oh yeah, like we're really gonna get him. Mm, probably Look not. Look at him go. I know. He doesn't <clears throat> roost like the chicken, so it's not as easy to just grab him up and, because he's never really settled. He runs around all night long. I'll come up with a better idea for him. Maybe you can trap him in a cage or something. All right, so at least we got all the chickens inside and um, they won't be eating no more of my pumpkins.